Welcome back everyone, Phoenix3 here, and we're going to be playing some more Pokemon trading card game online. Just want to kind of apologize for not really having any new videos to post lately. I've kind of been busy doing everything else, but I've been trying to keep my decks updated. So I figure we might as well just jump into the ladder, see what we get. I made some slight changes to my Pidgeot deck from the last time that I played it, and looks like we're getting Volcanion as a reward, maybe? pretty sure yeah so we will play and they made some changes um past then looks like we've got a talon flame roaring skies draw three cards and switch to one of your bench pokemon i'll probably find a use for that but just play some more decks maybe get some meta matches going on but i've kind of been a little bit happy with the performance of the deck it's still super awkward so this is probably going to be what, water psychic what is that for ninja i don't know water psychic but we win the coin flip so we will go first because we can get a pidgeot start tapu down and a bench full of fish and that will be nice unfortunately that's not going to be the case because we have to start a tapu probably not going to be that bad. I could probably put a psychic energy on it. It's Greninja. Oh, there's the Pidgeot. So what do we want to do? Pretty sure I want to put down the Pidgeot. I want to put down... Let's just do this. Discard the Mallow and the Stadium. We can grab another Top Loom. Yeah, let's do that. Really don't want to have two Top Looms down, but it's whatever. Yes. Be so gross to take a Lysander. Let's take a Lysander. We're not even going to do anything with that. I think what we're just going to do is play the Mallow so we can get something for next turn. Um, I think I just do that. It's an awkward match. So what's the Grenin? So what's the Psychic? Oh, the Psychic is probably top room. And I'm, I'm just going to do that. We are just going to rush this guy from the gate. Take a knockout on the um, Froakie. That's assuming we don't get in. I'm pretty sure he's going to end us. But our hand wasn't that great to begin with anyway. So this is going to make it to where we moderately get set up within two turns. Because we have the auxiliary down at least. And... Uh, that's not what I wanted. Remoraid and Froakie. Of course he has the Lysander, right? Let's make him do something he doesn't want to. We got an artillery next turn. Or he ends us to six. Which I'm okay with. Can't say I'm happy to see a rare candy. Into Greninja. Maybe he doesn't have an energy. I mean, I would imagine he would have attached it last turn. So what do we need? Double colorless energy, spirit link, mega Pidgeot. And we knock out this Greninja. I imagine that's what I want. Pretty sure that's what I want. Wally and the Greninja break, are you kidding me? 
Okay, he takes that. That's the reason I had one Wally in the deck, was so I could do that. But I wasn't ever really playing the Wally. So I just took it out, put in something else, probably another supporter. But he's getting potentially everything he wants. What is this going to be? A Tapu or a Shaman? No, there's no color that's funny to list, so no Shaman. The only thing the Psyche could be is a Tapu, right? Tapu Lily? I mean, for this guy, for his hands to have been as stacked as they were, he is taking forever to make decisions. I thought a Lysander from the opponent would have messed us up. That's the reason why I debated putting down a Pidgey. I was like, you know, if he has a Lysander. Uh, I mean, we could still possibly win this, I guess. This will get us at least a switch. I'm fine with that. Let's give him some targets, I guess. Next turn, we have a Versus Seeker. That's not a Pidgeot. We have, we have a Mega Pidgeot next turn for sure. We've got the Mallow. We just Mallow for the Spirit Link and um, make a Pidgeot. So we Mallow for the Spirit Link and the DCE Ultra Ball for the Mega Pidgeot. And if this doesn't become a Greninja break, which I'm sure it's going to be, yep, there's a Dive Ball that's for the Greninja. It's for a Frogadier. Clearly, I don't know what my opponent's playing here. He's going to get some Water Dukes down. Yep. So we have a knockout on that right now with the, um, Jesus Christ. Um, I don't think I care enough to put down the stadium. We play the end or no, no. Ultra Ball for the Mega Pidgeot. We're just going to go ahead and get that down right now. I can't imagine we need this stadium. This is going to grab Mega Pidgeot. Our Mallow is going to grab the DCE and the Spirit Link. Knocking out a Greninja next turn. Hopefully, you guys a puzzle. It's a Mallow. You can turn it into puzzles. Field Blower. On the Pidgeot Spirit Link, that's fine. That's what I need to do. I need to put Choice Band in here. But I'm not actually ready to start building this deck with the Choice Band until the release of Burning Shadows. So I kind of have some things I want to do with the list, and right now putting Choice Band in isn't one of, isn't one of them. Simply because I'm just I'm preparing for the release of the next set. So I'm just sitting here not really caring much about anything else. There's a Greninja Break coming down. Not excited to see that. Giant Water Shuriken probably want to remorate on the bench. If not, we're definitely going to evolve it next turn. Yep, and that's where it's going. But that's fine because it's not on a Pidgeot, which is what I care about right now. Put this in hand for 
three. It's really hard to say. I think right now we just bite the bullet and we knock out Greninja's. Yeah. So what we are going to do is versus Seeker, the Lysander. If he wants to shadow stitching, that's fine. We're just gonna take out the Greninja's. We will, okay, how do I wanna pay the retreat cost though? I think we're just going to discard the Psychic. We can get that back. And we're going to knock out the Greninja. And I think that's what we're going to do is knock out all the Greninjas before they become breaks. Bill Blower. Yeah, he's just trying to draw more cards off the Abyssal Hand. That's fine. Oricoria. Oh, that's what the Psychic was. And I think we're just going to leave ourselves open for a Topple Cure. Giant War Shuriken probably on Octillery. Nope, Mega Pidgeot. That's fine. I'm just going to retreat and do a Topple Cure. It depends on what becomes a Greninja or not. But the reason I want to add a Ho-Oh GX to this deck is because it knocks out Greninja in one hit. So there's the Choice Band coming down. He's going to go for a lot of damage here. Versus Seeker for what? Sycamore? Got 12 cards left. Rox Grit? How much do we have? 160. He can't knock us out. Most he could do to us right now is 110 if he returns the energy. So what's it going to be, buddy? Brock's Brick. Want to knock out that Greninja though. lot of cards I really wish I had a more effective way to deal with Greninja breaks but I haven't seen a max potion yet so he probably doesn't even play him there's my max potion um That's unavoidable. Guess it would have been nice to keep that psychic energy there. We could have just did the top of cure. And one thirty. He's on a shadow stitching us again. So I think what we do is play the mallow. We take a puzzle piece. That's gonna grab us something right I don't even think that's the right thing to play I think we take a supporter here the puzzle piece at least gets us a supporter if we want it I don't think we have to have it right now. It sucks because I don't have any energy in my hand, which means I'm going to be dead in the water for a turn. So I think we have to take something that's going to draw us cards. We will take N. Yeah, I think that's where I'm just going to go with that. If he knocks out the Tapu, this is at least going to at least give us 
something we can do. Because we could potentially knock that out next turn. And I imagine we're going to be seeing two water shurikens here, plus a shadow stitching. Which means we put our opponent down to three prizes. And if he doesn't, then we have a supporter next turn, which is all I care about. So, it looks like he's knocking out our artillery. I guess that's fine. Maybe. Okay, there's an end. I guess he wants to end himself before things get diff difficult. And Moonlight Slash. Oh, he's letting us have our... Or what should we call it? Which is good. Okay. What do we do? If we draw a psychic energy, we can topple cure. And that lets us keep a max potion. But I think I want to play this ultra ball. I think for sure we get rid of the uh, choice bands because that's complicating things right now so that's down we play the ultra ball may as well I guess um, there's nothing I want to take so I'm going to take the remorade we're going to put that down because that's at least going to give us something to do And we got the top of here like I wanted, so we do this. We retreat into that. And then we topple here. Let's make him waste stuff. I, I have no way that I want to play this match right now. Like, I'm trying my hardest to come up with something. And you guys know how Greninja is. This matchup is just, it's so hard. We get in. Hopefully, we see another from um, Octillery here or a way to get one. But we need to see something, um, I guess. And he's knocking out this right now. I just want him to not have energy. What did he play? A silent lab. I mean, of course he has energy. Shadow stitching. Um, that's fine, I think. How much health does this thing have right now? 110. 20, 40, 60, 80. I think we try to go for our Mega Turbo. That's a good start. Let's see that Mega Turbo. That's not a Mega Turbo. Um, let's let me go ahead and bump that Stadium. My other, I have another puzzle piece of my prizes somewhere, but if I play this and that's a Mega Turbo, we can knock this out. And I think that's the play we should go for, right? Let's see that Mega Turbo. There it is. Okay. Actually, I think I want to do this first. Actually, we might hit the puzzle piece off the prizes, so I think we play for it. And this is going to make it really hard for him to do anything. We will retreat into the Mega Pidgeot. Oh, I can't! Shadow Stitching! Oh my god! I messed up. I messed up. Oh my god. That shadow stitching is just wrecking me so hard. That's okay though. We still technically have the max potion and or we still have the mega turbo. 
Oh my, why is Greninja still in the format? Like, this deck should be dead. So what I have to do is this. This is a thing that sucks. Is I gotta hit these darn things. Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. I meant to click on Pokemon Fan Club just so I could play it. Well, we are about to lose a Pidgeot here for no reason. deck an end or a way to get one. This game is lasting way too long. think we can win this. He just needs what? Two giant water shurikens and Oh my god, I hate Greninja so much. Well that is a way to lose a win streak. Shadow stitching is just so annoying. Like there's there's nothing balanced about Greninja like at all. It's the most unbalanced deck in the format. Like nothing else like comes close to being as unbalanced as like Greninja. Like I mean Volcanion is dumb. But there's just nothing fun about a deck that you essentially can't do anything about like you can't knock it out in one hit or at least my deck can't um like that's the reason i'm looking forward to getting ogx in this deck because it at least knocks out greninja break in one hit and that's what i need i need a way to just stop that in its tracks it didn't help any that i misplayed like way too many times and that's pretty much the main part. Hey, look, there's those Pidgeots that I should have started with. Um, this is just Dramp with Zorark. So assuming things go well and I don't play like an idiot, uh, this matchup is... I want to say an auto win. It's, it's pretty up there. So we got three Zoroarks coming down. I don't think I want more Pokemon than this in play. Unless I want to do some real cheeky things with um, my Pidgeot's Mirror Move. But I kind of want to be able to play around some numbers here. Uh, there's a Pidgeot Spirit Link. 
I think what I do here is I double mallow for just that, like, like that right there. That's the mallow. I could take a Mega Pidgeot though. I kind of want to take a Mega Pidgeot. Probably should take a Mega Pidgeot. Let's see what's in here. We have one Energy Prize. Got our spirit links. We got an end prize. It looks like. Um, got our mallows. I think we know we have everything there. So our ultra balls. We prize two puzzle pieces. Yep. We prize two puzzle pieces. We prize what looks like to be a max potion and a mega pigeon. Um, yeah, that's just the uh, way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, I think we just... Sure. Sure, if I want to play the stadium or not, I don't want to play it anyway. At least if he ends us, we plus four, and that's what it's going to be. I'll, I will take a plus four. There's the plus four. So playing the spirit link in the stadium essentially got us more cards, and I'm okay with that because we might see some things again anyway. We at least get our. We could play a Pokemon fan club for two Pokemon that we don't want to put down. And then go from there. Okay, so there's the field blow. I was worried about that. That's okay though. Energy. That's not an energy. Um, what do we do? I kind of want to just Lysander out something and take a prize. We are not playing a supporter. It looks like, oh, we have a Mallow. Oh, this is too good. Ah, do I want to take a Lysander kill? I think it's important to just have the Mallow. We want a basic energy, I think. Yeah, I, I think we want a basic energy. One, two... We'll get 80 on the Trampa. And hope that doesn't screw us for next turn. We take an Energy Octillery. I think I like that. And we hope we don't lose. Gonna get us plus three. Well, here's a Tapu for next turn. That's gonna be incredibly useful. I could probably play it now, but I don't want to. Let's just do this. So we ended up getting everything we want. Oh man, our hand is so good. Mirror move for 80. And if he knocks us out, because he has a rainbow energy, then we knock out the Drampler and make a Pidgeot next turn. I think I'm liking that right now. There's no way that doesn't happen. Omega Pidgeot's coming out next turn. More than likely, Omega Pidgeot's coming out next turn. Most he can do to us right now is 3, 6, 9, 100. He can do 130 to us if he has a Choice Band and a DCE on the Zoroark. So our field blowers are going to be really good, though. I don't care for choice band. Come down, going Drampa. I said Drampa. There's the big wheel. All right, that's something else I really don't necessarily mind either, because this is uh, this means a Pidgeot is not in the active spot, or my Pidgeot's not damaged. 
and that's what I like most. So what we need now is a Spirit Link and a Mega Pidgeot. We could potentially find those cards. I don't know if our Spirit Link's prized or not. I don't think it is. Pretty sure I saw it in the deck. So what I want right now is to play the Tapu for Mallow. If I had an N, I would just take the N off this Tapu, but my Spirit Link is dead. All right, so I think we just do that. Yes. We take Mallow, because that's going to find us our Pidgeot Spirit Link that we know is in the deck, right? And our... our Mega Pidgeot? Well, we got the Mega Pidgeot right now, though. So what are we taking with the Mallow? Spirit Link and another bird. We could probably take Choice Band. I'm not necessarily opposed to that idea. We'll leave the Choice Band on that. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. He could hit a Mega Pidgeot for 160. That doesn't knock us out. We Ultra Ball first. Getting rid of Geez, do I have to get rid of a puzzle? I guess I do. Wow. We should probably check to see if energy resets in the deck. Yep, there it is. So we take Pidgeot, Spirit Link, and quite possibly Mega Turbo. Do we have do we have a max potion? We take Energy Reset, and we hope we have a way to get a Shrine of Memories. A Pistol for one. The Drampo's going down. That's happening. No, we got a Mallow for next turn. We're fine. Now we have all the advantage. And this is what I like. We even got an energy for Topple Cure if we want to use it. And we got a dead Trampa. That's the way that should have went. Doesn't matter if he switches or not. Probably should have got rid of the Float Stones. That might have been the smart thing to do. Well, there's our puzzle piece that we no longer have access for. So now I'm now I'm going to have to play a puzzle, a double puzzle, four puzzle piece, and something else. The reason I opted to not get rid of the choice band on this guy right here was because if he evolved that one into the break, then we could have done something. But foul play from Mox Cyclone. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna have to pop a topple cure though, which I don't want to do. But that lets me keep a Pidgeot in play. Oh, you got a Mox Cyclone. We have a mirror move right now. Oh, that mirror move is so hard to pass up. Zoroark Break has one that. Um, did I just mess that up? Yeah, I did. Oh, well, I guess we're doing Topple Cure. Yep. What I should have did was play the Energy Reset, pick up the Energy on the Pidgeot, but I didn't have a way to move the Topple, so I guess that's going to be our next best thing. Foul play still hurts though. Or uh, Mind Jack, 3, 6, 9, 12. He does 130 to the top of That's fine. It's not 130 to a Mega Pidgeot, which is what I'm fine with. Uh, well, it's still going to be 130 to a Mega Pidgeot. That's fine. Wait, what did he do? Did he just mock Cyclone us? That's fine. 
because I got this. And we're still gonna do what we want, like that max potion, retreat in the mega bird. Might be able to set up a two prize knockout next turn too. Take out the probably well his hand is pretty big. Probably take out the Zora and this one here with the Feather Lance. That's got ten left, so we can snipe that off. Just all the tools, every single one of them. Three energy. Why would you want three energy? more I mean he was probably much better off doing something else another Zoroark who would have who would have like thought that I think if we get a puzzle piece or a way to find one, I think we take the puzzle and Pidgeot Spirit Link. Um, sure. Let's see another puzzle. I mean, a switch works too, I guess. Um, We already knew we prized two puzzle pieces. Um, so we grab the puzzle, we take back the puzzle, and the Pidgeot Spirit Link. Right? So we Mallow for Puzzle of Time. Possibly. Um, let's do this. Let's just take the Fill Blower. Abyssal 1. Because this is at least going to give us a way to pivot back into a Pidgeot. So we take that and the Spirit Link he discarded earlier. We will discard... Let's get rid of the Float Stones. I don't think I care about the Choice Bands right now. Because all the choice bands are going to do is give me bigger mirror moves, which is what I want. A pistol for three. Uh, another bird. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. So we can't put it down. Mirror move. One thirty. Next turn, we have a feather lance. We can take out both the brakes. That's probably a good use of that turn. What are our max potions looking like? We've got one more somewhere. And we potentially have uh, two puzzles and we will probably turn those two puzzles into two more max potions. So we have at least another three somewhere in this game. But I'm expecting to get Lysander this turn. He knocks out a Remoraid, he doesn't knock out a Tapu, but we have to pay an energy to retreat Tapu, which is going to be annoying. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Ideally he just ends his turn, he attacks my Mega Pidgeot, I'll go into the one on the bench with no damage, and I Feather Lance knocking out both the breaks, because they both have 10 hit points left. And we take a puzzle piece off the prizes, that's what I want to happen. There's the Tapu coming down. 
If he takes a Lysander, it'd be nice if he just kills an Octillery. Like, I would be okay with that. Delinquent. Um, that complicates things a little bit, actually. I knew he was going to do something annoying. Oh, my God. I really don't want to discard any of these. And if I have to discard a puzzle, then I'm not going to have any more puzzles left. Jesus Christ. I think I have to discard the puzzle. Yeah, I don't I won't, don't actually have a way to get that back, which means we'll be down to two. Damn dark decks and they're delinquents, man. I, swear, I hate that card. Like it's too good. Nothing should force an opponent to have to discard three cards from their hand in like any card game. Like that card will be banned in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like that, that's how good an effect like that is. So I hope to God I get something. hit a Shrine of Memories. Um, Mallow can potentially get us one. Uh, what are we discarding? I guess we are discarding both of these. But I, I don't even care anymore. Shrine of Memories, please. There it is. And I think I'll take the Lysander. Yeah, let's start cleaning up some prizes. matter if we get a puzzle off the prizes because we can't even use it. This is Ultra Ball fodder at this point. Oh, an Ori Corio will be super nice right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, anywhere I want on the board. Yeah, that could actually be really good. So you gonna grab another Tapu. Tapu for Lysander on the Mega Pidgeot and then knock it out. No? Just a Zorark? I'm okay with that. Kinda makes me wish I didn't blow my Tapu here just yet, but I'm, I'm okay with that. Kukui, that's fine. Still don't knock me out in one hit. And he played the supporter. Uh, I think we knock this out, then Lysander, the Octillery. Oh, he's got one more car left in his deck. We win this match regardless. Like, she's shuffling three back. Like, I want nothing more in the world but a 6 0 this guy right now. Special charge. Yeah, three back into the deck. Should I just be that guy and end him? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to end him and make him deck. Can we see an end, please? Eh, well. Do we even still have an end in the deck? I should probably make sure if I start putting more things down. We have two in the deck. And we haven't played one yet. So, yeah, we just play end and we win. Tapu Lily. For 
and and I guess we still technically six over this guy. So yes, please. He's gonna draw his last three. Is how you completely smash Zorark Drampa with Mega Pidgeot. Still super salty about that Greninja match, but it's whatever. You play bad, you lose. Alright, so we will end this video the same way we usually do. Do some pack openings that we have here. Once the game gets done with all of its fancy graphics and whatnot. Alright. Collection. Let's see what we got. What do we have to open? Founders Cross. Can't open that. Noble Victories. Can't open that. I mean, I might open them. Yeah, let's open them. I mean, we're not doing anything with these packs. You can't trade them. They're locked to my account. So might as well. Yes, let's open that boundaries crossed. Let's get something super shiny out of it. Oh, got two rares. Ooh, an ace bet. I forgot that's in the uh, reverse foil slot, just like the uh, breaks now. And something I don't care about. But we got a crystal wall. What can come out of Noble Victories? A full art end. Give me a full art end. Make me incredibly salty about the fact that I can't trade a full art in. Sorry about the uh, speed at which this is moving. I have no control over that right now. This computer is not that great. Which is another reason why I haven't really been playing is because I'm using my other laptop that I don't use for all of my other graphical work. And this one here is just not as powerful. So we get low times like this that could be the game deciding to give me a full art end but who knows we get all right we don't get two rares we got we got an electric I can't believe I haven't had one of these if I did I might have traded all of them but we should still have it though and <laughs> Okay, I now have a full art end on this account. I was totally not expecting to pull that. Now I'm super salty because I can't fucking trade it. Are you kidding me? The game, just, it knows. It knows. I'm super salty about that. Incredibly pissed, guys. That, oh my god, got a full art end out of the packs and I can't even trade it. Well, that's the highlight of this video right here. That is the highlight. Alright. Our rare is... What is going on here? What is this? I don't even... Okay, so we get two... We get a full art and a secret rare. And I think this is the best one we could have pulled out of the set. I mean, a hyper rare top of Lily would have been nice, but I'll take a full art field blower. I can at least trade that. Okay, let's keep going. The game is like, we want to give you stuff now. Is this a three pack? Nope. All right, and our rare is a Beedrill. Okay, we kind of fell flat on our faces right there. We got two fates collide. Let's open up full art in. Secret rare field blower. I mean, I'm not complaining because I can at least trade. No, I can't trade the field blower. Fuck. Okay, so I guess we have a secret rare field blower locked to our account. And um, M Alteria EX, which I actually want to try to do something with. If like all the mega Pokemon going forward should have had ancient traits, because this 
one here could have the ancient trait that doubles any healing effect. And that would have been very nice to use because I like healing effects. Alright, we should have clicked open another one. Apparently I got 21 Fates Collide Packs. Don't remember when that happened, but uh, we, we, we've got them. And... Last special, a Warm and Dam, and every Uniclus. That's not doing us any good. Phantom Forces? Sure. Why not? Don't even remember getting these. This is an interesting video for sure. Got trolled with a full art in and secret rare field blower. High roar and mighty Anna. We got a roaring skies for logging in today but apparently it's not locked. I guess something must have changed with that. But we will open this and then we will open up the hollow chest. So we get five coins and a dragon air. And it's not a bad dragon air either, so. That and a potion. Done. Let's see what we get in our hollow chest. We get 20 coins, and our rare is probably something dumb, like a Sharky dump. Well, can't say I was super excited for that. Let's just go over it one more time and make sure we didn't forget any packs. And, um, no, that's it. So, I mean, that's going to be it for this video. We got a really crappy Greninja match. Got a Redemption match with a uh, Zorok Drampa. And we finished with a full art end and a fill blower I mean I'm okay with that so if you guys like this video then please like the uh, video and do be sure to subscribe to my channel we're going to be doing more Pokemon stuff I've got more things planned for sure I want to try to set up something so I can start doing Pokemon duel I've been having a love-hate relationship with that game and I'm pretty sure you guys would love to see me struggle with that so as always thank you all for taking time to watch my videos and I hope to see you all in the next one